welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Oh, they're out of food. They're probably out of money as well. Let's give them some help. And um, we're doing okay financially. We've got 148 in the bank. So let's give it back, a bit back to the people. It's kind of getting stabilised now, aren't we? We've got a big population and we've got a lot of things now um, being produced. We've even got chickens and we've got our first hatchlings. Look, one hatchling, two chickens. Let's go in and have a quicker look. Closer look. Hello, where are you going? Fishing dock, where are you going? Weaver's workshop. Oh yeah, you've got the hemp. Got a roll of hemp. And you're carrying it by hand, which is interesting. So we should have plenty of wagons for that. Still making the wagons though, and we've got some repair needing repair. So we've got our extra carpentry set up. We've got five orders in the queue. Let's get you online and making stuff. Let's get this smithy making metal parts and horseshoes again. This carpenter. Let's get you making metal parts and um, and horseshoes as well. Just get up to the maximum. We've got two two of each. So that's, that should get things going quite nicely. Got a lot of cart parks now. Get two in each. They're all waiting. Let's um, speed up the game. These guys are waiting. These guys are waiting. Yeah, so they kind of reached their limit. I think that one, that one carpenter. Give you a bit of money. Up the wages a bit. Let's see if we can get that balanced. I'm sure we can. You need money. Right, so I'm marking 150 in the bank, and if that goes up by much, we can we can always add um, add, to, add to the wages. We've got 142 in the village now. We've got 20 odd looking for a job. Ah, so once the um, the farming season comes in, we'll have loads of people, which is great, and for the fishing. But we are technically employing them, I guess. They're working, but they're not doing anything. Full people in our boatyard. We could do. More people could go full people on the trading post. If we want to employ people, we can. Look at all these things that need rep that repairing. I think it's because we stopped making metal parts at the smithy. That might be the main thing. Maybe that's why they were carrying things by hand. Wow, look. This layer of limestone, we've got 4,000 and counting. My god, if we'd not capped the limit on labourers, everyone would have been working there. That's an almighty batch that they're doing. Look, all these trees are growing that they plant that we planted, and it's an interesting one actually. Because if I show you, so once all those trees come become mature, they'll be ready for for demolition, and so you want different fields that have different ages. And so if we do another field, I hope that's not too close to the other one. Yeah, it is. You've got to have a bigger entrance way, bigger gap. Do another field. They'll be planted at a different time with the younger trees and they'll take over when that one's empty and then maybe uh, another one up there in a, a year or two. But they've got all this forest as well and all this stuff that we're knocking down as we go through. And I think you can individually select trees for demolition. So yeah, I've just clicked on a tree and you can say remove or protect that, that pine tree. So that's interesting. So if you want to get rid of all these we can. Uh, we just pl started planting the fields, so we've got our, our limit of 10 labourers on each farm. So the first farm is sucking everyone in, up to a limit of 10. Oh, up to a limit of 8. Yeah, 8's good. And then the leftovers go to this farm, but there aren't any leftover labourers, so that's why that, that farm started a bit later. But in a way that's good, because then that would harvest first that farm, and then they'd go over to that farm and, and harvest a bit later as well. So that might work, if you follow my logic. We only need one person working in the chicken coop. And look, we've got two ch two hatchlings and two chickens. And once those hatchlings turn into chickens, we're going to start multiplying things rapidly. How many horses have we got? Unlike the cattle shed, it doesn't give you a total number of horses. You've got to count them. So two, four, six, seven. So that's a bit different. Here it just says current total 11 there already. So maybe uh, something for the developer to add. Oh yes, and look, our two cows went into that cow shed. Um, so what we can do is move a bull, and this is how you do it. Grab hold of the bull, 
we'll take our old one and just plop him over there. And he'll transfer there. There we go. And he'll pop out into the field shortly. Where's the ball? So he's showing in there. He just needs to come out. Probably needs the herdsman to kick him out the door. So we started off our second shed for breeding. And we've got the first one with 10 in already. And we've got a newborn cow. How cool is that? We're building our houses, and we've not got a lot left in the building queue, so let's uh, build a load of more stuff. You remember when we had all that stuff to build? But now we've got the two smithies. We're laughing. So probably worthwhile getting a couple of smithies early on, whenever you can afford them, because they'll just speed up your building massively. There we go. Three more houses in that block. And we could do with three more up here, couldn't we? We could extend this um, could extend this village space, or or build into it. So we would go this way, wouldn't we? Face to face, and then we'd go back to back. I'll just lay this one down, like so. And then let's see what a trader has to our offer. Oh my god, where do all that money come from? We've got 388 in the bank. They're de demanding wheat, but they're offering salt, lime, and sallow. We're not going to need, need lime, because we're building the most almighty tower. Okay, so they're building up charcoal now. Gathering charcoal for current layer. So it doesn't really say where the lime's gone, which is a bit odd. But they're gathering loads of charcoal, which we've we've got in abundance. Oh my god, they've cleared out our charcoal. We had like thousands of charcoal in there. Oh, we've got 3,700 charcoal there. 9,000 charcoal there. So we've certainly got plenty of charcoal. And we're uh, we're building up charcoal there. Okay, it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of this lime kiln. I think um, it's taken off up a lot, awful lot of lime. We've already... We've got 3,000 lime there, and we've decimated a 10,000 lime pile. So, wow, that's huge quantities. Cool, let's go on... Um, we don't need anything from that trader, do we? How much salt have we got? We've got 500 lime, we've got 3,000 salt. No, I think we're okay, mate. Let's get a little bit of salt, a little bit. 500 and odd. Off you go. The one thing, the one animal that we're left to um, start growing is the pigs. So we will put a pigsty down here. And um, we're not going to put it over the, the other farm just yet because we'll, we'll build this model over onto the other farm as well. So we'll have chickens and pigs near that other farm. So we'll do the pigsty down there, so they're next to the chickens. There we go. And we could have another stables another chicken coop and a pig sty, and just have that as a bit of a, a pattern for our farms or at least the ones that will be growing all the all the stuff that we're going to be feeding the you know the animals with and then once we go up here to our more luxury good farms then we'll be growing hemp and sunflower oil and note that they will then be closer to these um, the oil workshop and the um, the weavers workshop so they'll they'll make more sense in where they are in location and actually, I think we should have... Yeah, we've got 100 sunflower oil in stock now. So we just need someone to... We'll send a messenger over there. And we'll, we'll find some people to sell some sunflower oil to. I'm pretty sure we can pay our people a bit more money now. <laughs> we've got so much in the bank. We've got 300 in the bank. We can buy, like, loads of... Loads of cows, really. Cows are going to be the priority for me. Because um, we can make so much leather get beef and they're so easy with the hay so I'm gonna lay down another cow shed because we're gonna go after cows remember that trick with them um, copying a building and then it goes in line with the other one that you've just copied and that's quite nice having the hay barracks in between them and look we weren't able to fill this last one got 900 500, 1,000. So they are being depleted. We've got 1,300 in that one. Not sure why they've gone over capacity. Because I think they can only, only handle 1,000. 
speed up the game. Let's see where this takes us. Some interesting things happening that we don't quite understand, um, mainly with the line works. Oh look, we're... what? Okay, this is very strange. So they're sucking in more limestone for the kiln. That's definitely got to, got to be a glitch. I think that's broken and doesn't work. I would say. Because nothing's come out unless... Let's see if we've got any lime. Oh, we've got a messenger. Hang on. So, yeah, we can sell you metal parts. We've got... F we, we, we're collecting like 50s, aren't we? 47 for 23. 47 metal parts for 23 money. We will buy cows. Let's buy more cows. So we've got 370 in the bank. Let's go for 240 worth of cows, which is six. Deal. And then if they go in that new pen, we'll throw in another bull to try and impregnate them. We'll see how it goes. So we're doing very well with um, with the cows. So we'll need a tannery before long, and we'll need to probably start stockpiling lime because it doesn't look like we're it doesn't look like we're um, we're making our own. I don't think. Where's lime? No, we say we've stored 500, but we've that's what we've bought. Limestone. We're showing 3,700 in stock. 500 lime. No, I'm not seeing... Mm. That's looking quite full though. I wonder if they're just building up layer upon layer upon layer till they've filled the whole thing up. And then it's going to do something. So let's see where that goes. It may not be broken. It might just not be showing the different layers of progress very well and what's going on. So when active, labourers will gather charcoal by layers of 3,000 3, and limestone by layers of 5,000 and start burning in order to produce quick lime. In total, there are three layers of each. Quick lime is used in lime works to produce lime. Okay, so they're building up three layers. What we need to show here is the actual three layers and what's been done for each layer because it leaves you wondering what on earth's going on. Okay, so I think it's fine. It just needs improving and in which case Right, so let's work this out. If it needs three layers of 5,000 limestone, then we need this to go down about 5,000 and this down to zero. So yeah, it's building up the last layer, I think, of, of 5,000. So we've got these guys. They're selling iron, horses and pigs, demanding flour and sallow. Is that the right one? No, this is the right one. So we've got someone offering to buy charcoal. We'll do a deal if we've got the charcoal. So I know we're using a lot in our lime works. They're demanding wheat, shoes, and buckwheat. We'll keep. We don't have any to sell, and they've gone. But they are offering salt and cows, and we're we're not after any of that. Ah, uh, this happened before. So it was the previous messenger that went that closed the the window of the current messenger. So that's a bit of a bug, in my opinion. So they're offering salt and cows, and um, no, we we have enough of those, and and the um, traders here for another five days. So that's fine. And look, our cows have been delivered. So we've got nine in this shed and we've got 11 in that shed. We're going to move a bull over to this shed, which we've just done, just so we've got more for breeding. So two, two bulls and maybe another bull. No, yep, just how many bulls have we got? We've got two bulls over here um, and it looks like we've got two bulls over there. So that's perfect. And we've got 10, 11 now in this one. So we've just had a baby, newborn. So um, fantastic. We've got 10 and 11, and that's really nicely split. So we're um, we're probably making a bit of milk, aren't we? Let's have a look at the economy and see what sort of milk we're making. Milk's down here. And um, produced 300 this year so far. 200, 178 in previous years. So it is growing. So that's looking good. And we should be um, repairing all our and building all our carts by now. Yet yeah, those are all repaired. Got no more carts over here, so they're just getting back through a backlog of repairs. I think the carpenters. Cool. Look at that. Seven more orders in the queue. So that'll be repairs and um, 
Actually, I think those might be, be just requests for, for new carts. What we can do is have another market stall over here somewhere. So let's build another row of houses up here so we can work it out. Finish laying down these. This one's on a bit of a wonk. Let's try and resolve the wonk. So you can go there. And you can go there. And then we'll go back to back. So you go up that way. And we've resolved the wonk. And made it even worse the other way. And there we go. Flatten it out over there. So we've got our next block laid down. We've still got money worries and we've got tons of money coming in. So let's just increase people's wages by a couple. So we're at 280 for the basic wage and managers are on 420. Um, charging 150% for market price and um, 1.5 for the for the rent. We'll just keep increasing that until our money levels out. Although we want to be making a little bit. Looks like it has leveled out. Going up slightly maybe. We're on 440. And what have we got in our farm? So 500 buckwheat. 198 potatoes. So we're running out of food. However, we've got loads of crops to harvest. So we are going to need another farm. I'm going to lay down another farm. Which will be really important to keep everyone going. Let's have it up here. Just have a think about where we're going to lay it down. So this is where the houses kind of stop. So, kind of have it here, can't we? I'm just going to go for it and, um, and lay the farm down there and just see how it goes. And then the next one can go over here somewhere. We've got another block of um, houses being built here and we could have a, a little block being built around there. We could have some fishing going on around here, you know. Um, and there'll be market stalls around here that can handle that fish. So I think that might be quite nice. Just going to see what our employment's like. So we've got 158 people. Wow, and we've got over 500 money. So it looks like once you start getting loads of people, it really pays off. So we'll up them to 3 as their basic wage and 4.5 for the managers. And look, if we have a look at the housing and rent, last year it was 622. Local sales nearly 2,000. Ooh, and salaries, 2,300. So rent plus sales were more than salary, which is what we're looking for, really. Okay, so that's looking good. It looks like our, our income's really starting to come in now. And I think that's just down to the volume of people and the amount of food we're, we're buying and selling. We've got eggs in the mix as well, of course, and we've got four hatchlings and three chickens. We've got... We've increased the number of um, chickens by 50%. Oh, and these are the hatchlings, so they call the hatchlings like little little chicks, really. That's very nice. Just seeing life up close. One thing we haven't been putting down is a huge number of benches, so that's something we could do. people coming and going, going up the hill into our smithy and our carpenter, going into the market stall there with a wagon. So they're using wagons to deliver stuff to the market stall. People still need financial help. Help you out. We'll help you out. And um, we've got 600 odd in the bank, so let's just keep paying people more money. Going up to 320 and 480 for managers. Look, we're harvesting stuff in just as we we're starting to run out of stuff. 63 buckwheat left. Oh god, look, and all these labourers look. So they're. Oh wow, they've got tons of labour. So we could put the limit at 10. And we'll up the limit to 10 there. So. They're filling up all their labourers, they're full, and these guys are full. That's perfect. That is amazing. And then if we have a look, open vacancies and people looking for a job. There are not many people looking for a job. Not really. So that's perfect for me. 
I'm really happy with that. And if we had more people and more vacancies and more people looking for a job, then we could up our labour limit to maybe like 11 or 12. I mean, when the harvest is being bought in, it's all hands on deck, really. So we'll up that. And we've got the, um, got the people straight away. There we go. They're swapping. Look at them. <laughs> they were swapping around. And, and we're bringing the harvest in in plenty of time. It's August, and you just need to bring it in by the end of, of November. So that's amazing. So we've, we've definitely got room for like larger fields and more fields in those farms. So worth noting. Um, messenger, let's, uh, let's cut down the uh, speed. Yeah, we can sell you sunflower oil. How much have we got? 100. So we're selling our first sunflower oil, which is quite a nice milestone. 100 there for 18. It's a deal. It's better than nothing. Oh, bring you back. They're offering salt, lime, pigs, horses and potatoes. We're just about to build a pigsty and we've got 25 days um, for this messenger to go. So can we build our pigsty in 25 days? If we can, I'll buy some pigs. I can't say fairer than that. But they're only just starting to Okay, we're only needing a hundred thatch. We've got everything we need, so they're just going to build now. Look at all these horses we've got. How many have we got? One's a month old. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Female that's six years. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight horses. Um, so we just need leather, which is going to come from cows. So we've got 11 cows there. 13 cows there. Are they just two bulls? One baby bull, and two grown-up bulls, and two kind of babyish bulls, and one new bull. So I think once a bull gets to a year, we can definitely say they can reproduce. Okay, I think that's fine, that balance. What we will do is build another cow shed, just so we've got it. In fact, we are building one, aren't we? So that's fine. How's our line works going? This is the last layer, and I'd like to see what progress we've made for each layer, because it's really unclear. These guys need... Oh, they've got 99! We've just run out of food, haven't we? So that's the first family starting to complain. But we, we've built up our stores. Loads of buckwheat and potato. And loads of buckwheat there. Oh god, have we just gone onto a bit of a buckwheat rotation? We haven't really set up this farm, so let's set up this farm and all its fields. Because we've just gone for the same crop, haven't we? And I don't think it's really yielded very well. So in this field for next year, red and green. Well, wheat could do it. Or potatoes. No, it's potatoes that will do it. This one just has loads of blue, so that needs to be fallow. So we'll leave that fallow. This one just blue. We'll leave fallow. Blue fallow. Blue fallow. And, and red can go potato. Okay, so we're going to struggle a bit next year. Some of these are on fallow. You need to go fallow, I'd imagine, at some point. We'll get the farming sorted out properly, and um, we're not going to be too far away from getting oxen and things like that. Mm, looks like we've got a lot of these fields fallow next year, so we need to... Um, and we're in September, aren't we? So let's build the farm up here next, and we'll probably have to have quite a few fields for that, because all these are going to go fallow, I think. They're offering potatoes. Should we buy a load of potatoes? We're a bit short on this harvest. Let's buy 2,000 potatoes. Deal. What else have you got? Yeah, we're thinking about pigs, aren't we? Okay, we've got pigsty built. We're going to leave it a couple of days for them to bring in stock. And we can do buckwheat. So pigs can eat wheat, potato, buckwheat or sunflower. We've got a load of buckwheat. I've done a big harvest. That's pretty much all we have done. Do 400. So we've got 2,000 buckwheat there. And we've got 1,000 odd. So we've got about 3,500 buckwheat nearly. And we're ordering in 2,000 potatoes, so I have 2,500 potatoes. It's just the wheat that we re didn't really get much of this year. Um, but we could do a trade for some, because we're doing so well in our economy. 
and we bought in loads of fish. How much fish did we sell? Go on the economy. Um, yeah, so we produced 1,600 fish, same as last year. Can't see the year before. So quite a lot of fish. Let's buy some pigs then. Um, we'll go for two pigs and two boars, and that's going to cost us 140. Um, I presume the boars are the males. Let's do it. We've done it, and they're bringing in food already. We've got loads of food there. Oh god, and look how much they eat. Oh my god, that's one month's supply of food. Whoa. Ah, it's one month's supply for 20, but when you bring it down, it increases the f the amount of food. So if we say we're going to have like seven or eight pigs, let's, let's put the limit at eight for now so we don't have too many and run out of food. Food reserves three years worth of food. All that wheat and buckwheat. So we've got four chickens and five hatchlings. The amount of eggs we produce is going to go up very nicely. We need to lay down a market over here. So we've got a nice big area over here, haven't we? We've got this sort of shared space. So let's do that. Have a market store here. Rotate it around that way. Yeah, we'll put the market store there. And actually we can have another one here facing upwards. That's a really nice place for it. There we go. And we'll employ someone. We'll start selling stuff. So we've got We've got buckwheat, we've got, we'll have chicken eggs. We'll wait for the chicken meat, we'll go... Potatoes we'll have lots of. Let's go for milk, because that's going to increase. And let's go for this next one. Hire a worker there. Go firewood. We'll go... Fish. Dried fish. And we'll, that'll do for now. Flour? Did we do flour already? Nope. Okay, so we've got a good mix of um, stuff over there for everyone around here, because we're going to build up a block there. So I'm pretty happy with the market stalls. I think that'll do people. Financial help. Financial help. Right, I'm going to keep an eye on the money, so we're at 625. And if that goes up, we can increase wages. If it comes down, we'll just hold where we are for now. Okay, so we've got enough horses to start making these um, like wagons. Oh, here we go. Here's our next farm, which is going to save us, I think. So we're going to add some fields. And we'll just do it now while we've got the time. We'll do some nice big fields. Go all the way down. Another field. Oh, it's a bit too wonky. Don't plough this field. Link to another cow shed farm. Activate. Demolish. We're going to demolish that field and just redo it because it was just too wonky. Would have caused us problems. Look, there's um there's a wagon coming in. That might be our pigs, you know. Do another field. Over here. We'll do a big one. Going right out. Because we'll need it. We'll keep doing our fields. Another wagon coming in for trades. Another field in this far corner. We could do this all arable. So the way a full field would work... Oh, we've got a trader. Do this going right out as well. Big old arable farm. I think that's the right word for just growing crops. Just um, go and play and see what these are offering. So, honey, horses, iron, pigs, cows. How much iron have we got? No, none. Whoa. Let's um, let's order two thousand iron for two forty. That'll be a deal. 
Um, they're after flour, chicken, eggs, sallow and leather, but I don't think we have enough of, enough of anything to sell. And they're offering pigs, horses, honey. Nope, I think that's good for now. Thank you. This farm we're going to concentrate on just growing crops for feeding because we're, we're going to be a bit short. However, once we've got all three farms up and running and we've got our rotations working out quite well. Oh, sorry about these fields, people. Just getting them done. There we go. Um, we'll need to clear some trees for that field to activate, but all these others um, we can activate. And I'll just go through them and activate them so they're ready. And we'll employ some people, get a manager, and that's ready to roll. So we've got wheat in all of them. However, if we go to, for the big fields, wheat, we'll go potato, and we'll go... Uh, we'll go buckwheat in the smaller field. And we'll go here, we'll go... Yeah, we'll go wheat, potato, another potato down here. If you just click on the farm itself, it shows you the overview. So two potato, four wheat, and a buckwheat. And, and that isn't ready, that one. We'll just go full employers, employees. And then we'll do another farm over here which we'll lay down soon. We'll just do one farm at a time. Those fields look awful, don't they? But that's fine. It's, uh, it's how we roll. We'll just see if we've had any pigs delivered. They come in. No livestock yet. There we go. They were just delivered. Four pigs? Oh yeah. Yep, must have gone for four. Just keep an eye, an eye on on the money. We're on 330, roughly. There we go, lots of chickens. Eggs. Nine eggs. Six hatchlings, five chickens. So they're really growing. So we've got one of every animal. We've got an abundance of cows now, and our cow sheds are looking awesome. Stables, that was the first animals we ever we ever took on. It doesn't actually say the limit um, in the stables. Which is missing, I think. Food reserves that's a month's worth. So are we short of wheat? Oh god, we're short of wheat for the animals. Let's just um have a think. So can they survive on hay alone? We we're in October, so we'd have to make it through the year. I mean, we've got plenty of hay. We really do. Did we ever build a haystack? Yeah, we did. It's here. It's a thousand hay. Are they going to be alright on hay alone, or do they need wheat? Hmm. I think I'm going to send out some envoys. We're, we're down to about 220, because we've just done some deals do with some wheat. So that trader has come from there. Ooh, this one costs 80, which is a huge amount. Let's send someone over then and see if we can buy some wheat. If not, we'll see if the horses can survive on hay alone. Which they should be able to do. People are complaining a bit about food variety. A bit short of money. They've got money. So these... Oh my god, look, they've got 182. Wow. Cool. 1600 buckwheat, 900 buckwheat. We've got 2000, um, oh look, we're down to um, 17, 16. Okay, it's so the economy starting to struggle again because, um, there we go, 1700 potatoes. We're gonna have tons of food. That's fine. And look at all the iron we've got as well. And I thought we sold the sunflower oil, but we might have had more, we've made more. Might have made more. So we've got loads of potato, loads of buckwheat. But we don't have um, have much wheat in itself. So, um, great place to pause for this episode. Uh, next year we've got loads of wheat coming in. Big old fields of wheat um, and other stuff. And we're going to sort out the rotation on these fields. It's not looking great. I think we left this farm... 
um, to rotate badly. So um, yeah, stay tuned. We've got 14 cows in that shed, 12 in that shed. So it's not going to be long before we uh, start putting oxen into the farms and ploughing and, um, and producing leather. See you in the next episode.